Okay, these are the Enreal Air AR glasses. Think of them as an IMAX screen in your pocket that you can use for watching movies, gaming, exercising, getting work done, you name it. Let's have a look at this thing. Let's ramble. Hold up. Place go up when I pull up. They all on me like at once. Okay, guys, just a heads up. As I'm editing this video, Enreal actually underwent a rebranding and now they're called Xreal. Just something to keep in mind when you're watching this video. Hey, what is up guys? It's great to see you all again. And if you're new here, I'm Patrick and this is where I ramble about tech and other stuff. So these are the Enreal Air AR glasses. Now, most of us will know or at least have an idea of what AR is. And these glasses really do work for anyone because this is one of the most thoughtfully put together kits I've ever seen. Inside the box, we have this sleek looking hard shell slash travel case. And of course, the Enreal Air glasses are already in there waiting for us. The design looks a lot like my Ray-Ban Wayfarers that I've been wearing since forever. And that's a good thing because this might just be the first time I won't feel stupid wearing something like this in public. The arms are very flexible, so they will fit comfortably around my big head as well. And the temple hinges are actually tilt adjustable, so you can choose the best viewing angle for you. The first time I did this, I was a bit scared. It feels unnatural to bend glasses like that. But once you get used to the cracking sound, I actually feel totally comfortable doing this. This is actually really, really well built. The controls are straightforward. There's a screen on and off button and a button to adjust the screen brightness. Things like accelerometer and gyroscope are built in. And here you can see a proximity sensor and an ambient light sensor. The actual active lenses are right behind the sunglass exterior. Also in the box is a fairly long braided USB-C cable to connect the glasses to whatever device you're using. The glasses are super light, approximately 80 grams, so you can wear these for a long time without really noticing any more than you would wearing a pair of, you know, regular sunglasses. One of the reasons they're so light is that they don't have an internal battery. They are powered by whatever device you're connected to, so you don't need to worry about charging these either. And with all the stuff that we already need to keep charged, that is definitely a plus to me. Do make sure you open every little compartment in this box because it also has three nose pads so you can pick whatever suits your snoot. And perhaps more importantly to some is that this comes with a pair of blank prescription lens frames that you can have adjusted by your own optician. Needless to say, it also includes a cleaning cloth, which you will need a lot. Now, I do use these glasses all the time, so I prefer to just roll the cable around the glasses rather than having to neatly put everything away every time. And Real was very clever to design this in such a way that you can simply remove this flap, creating enough space to stow the glasses like that. So what this produces is a 3840 by 1080 pixel micro OLED screen, which you can imagine looks absolutely stunning. Colors are very vibrant and the blacks are truly black. Now, these are AR glasses. The main difference between AR AR and VR is that virtual reality brings you into a closed off, fully immersive environment with no awareness of what is happening in your actual real life surroundings. Augmented reality, on the other hand, places a layer of information on top of your actual surroundings, enabling you to still interact with the world around you while using the device. The Enreal Air glasses do come with a light shield which blocks out your surroundings, making this a fully immersive experience and bringing it a little bit closer to that VR experience than an AR experience. But it is entirely up to you how you prefer to use these glasses. Personally, I like to switch back and forth between both modes. For instance, when I visited my friend and fellow YouTuber E at his studio in Bulgaria last weekend, I had a long layover, so I had plenty of time to do some work. In that scenario, I wanna see my surroundings as well as my screens. So the AR view is ideal. But when I was on the plane, I put the light shield on. So instead of looking at the seat right in front of me, I created the illusion of space and having a massive screen to work on. As you can imagine, it is extremely difficult to film the screens inside the glasses, and it is simply impossible to show you exactly what I'm experiencing. But with the help of some screen recordings and a little editing magic, I hope I'll be able to simulate the experience well enough for you to get some kind of understanding of how this works. The audio experience, by the way, is very interesting and definitely not bad at all. It has two open ear speakers, a dual microphone array with omnidirectional microphones, and it has useful little tweaks like bass boost and built-in echo and noise cancellation to make this a really impressive way of listening to your audio. Now, because it is essentially open, people around you will hear what you're listening to as well. Mind you, it will be nowhere near as loud or crisp as what you are hearing, but still, it's not exactly discreet. For a fully immersive experience and, you know, to avoid bothering the people around me, I combined it with my AirPods Pro 2. Think about it for a second. Totally immersive vision, 
Noise canceling buds with super crisp audio watching a movie on an airplane will never be the same again. Now, when Enreal approached me to review these, I was mainly interested in the productivity aspect of it. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute, but I must admit that the entertainment element has totally won me over as well. Playing games with these on is an experience you simply cannot ignore. But first, let's talk about the Nebula app, which is the app that controls these glasses and helps create that real AR experience. The app is available on Android phones and Apple Silicon MacBooks, and Enreal was kind enough to send an Android phone with the apps pre-installed, which was very helpful to get started, but I wanted to get the same experience on my own Samsung S23, long-term review of this phone coming up, by the way. The app is not available in the Play Store yet, at least not here for me in Belgium, but it was not hard at all to find an APK file, so I was able to sideload it, and it works just fine. What makes the S23 a little bit cooler than other Android phones to use with these glasses is, of course, Samsung DeX. As soon as you plug in your glasses, unless you toggle this off so you can use the Nebula app by default, the phone switches to DeX mode and I see this beautiful large desktop right in front of me. I can really imagine this being super useful in tight spaces like airplane seats. It can be challenging to work on a MacBook if one of those small tray tables is all you have to work with, but with these glasses I could work inside Samsung DeX and all I'd need then is a small Bluetooth keyboard on my tray table. With that said, Dex does not run through the Nebula app, but is basically just a giant screen mirror. The Nebula app, on the other hand, offers that true AR experience. Once it starts up, you are presented with this virtual environment of floating apps and screens all around you. Your phone turns into a remote, which operates this giant laser beam that acts as a mouse. You can use this to select and control apps, but also to position and resize windows inside the app. So for example, if you're watching a video on YouTube, you can pull the screen closer or push it further away and you can make it bigger and smaller. Also very cool is the little virtual pet dragon that lives inside one of the app screens. But at the push of a button, it will fly out at you and play with you. You can use your laser beam to play with it and tickle it. Definitely my seven-year-old daughter's favorite feature, and I wish I filmed her reaction when she genuinely thought her dragon was sitting behind the couch in our house. I did, however, manage to film someone else's initial reaction to these glasses. E, you need to try these glasses. I'm working. Try them. <sighs> All right. I can see you. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Use this as a mouse. Do you see the pet? Digital pet. What's his name? Uh, E. <laughs> it says E. <gasps> oh, it's right here. <laughs> this is amazing. I want... Can I have that? Like, do you plan on keeping it? Uh, I might keep this one. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe for your birthday. So it also hooks up to your Mac. Okay, can, can we try that? Yeah, yeah, let's try okay. that. All right, let's try that. Ooh. See it? Yeah. What? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is amazing. I can, I can't even imagine how much better this will get over time. Yeah. Even now, it's very usable. Picture quality is really good. I can see the small text just fine. I can see what's in my menu bar. No need for me to make any desk setups anymore. Because <laughs> I can, I just need a chair, you know. <laughs> amazing. Now, there are not that many native apps available yet, but the community is growing fast and so are the number of apps for this thing. Like I said earlier, you can also download Nebula for the MacBook Pro. And here, the standout feature for me is without a doubt the virtual display setup. You can choose a number of screens and position them around you to your liking. I use the 14 inch MacBook Pro because it's nice and compact, which is ideal for travel, but I do find myself wanting for some extra screen real estate all the time. With these glasses, you can literally create three large extra screens that you can use for multitasking. Equally, I really enjoyed using these with my little 11 inch iPad Pro while I was in between flights at the airport when I was visiting E. So I could sit in the coffee shop typing on my little iPad and nobody knows that I'm actually banging away on this massive display. Very, very useful for feature and one of the main reasons I would recommend these to any professional. Now, all work and no play makes Patty a dull boy. Thankfully, there is plenty of play with this thing because you can hook the Unreal Air up to something like your PS5 to get a massive OLED screen to play on, but it also works really well with something like the Nintendo Switch or a Steam Deck. 
I actually almost bought a Steam Deck just to use this with these glasses and show you guys the video, but unfortunately shipping times in Belgium are quite long, so we will have to make do with the Nintendo Switch for now. But man, is this a fun way of playing it. Whether you're playing a quick game of Mario Odyssey or you immerse yourself in the massive open worlds of Zelda, these glasses make that experience so much better. Portability is what drew me to the Switch, but as soon as I'll get home, I'll always stick it in the dock so I can view it on a bigger screen. With the Unreal Air glasses, I can enjoy the portability of the Switch, but I don't have to sacrifice screen real estate anymore. In fact, this virtual screen is bigger and brighter than anything we have at our house. You do need a powered HDMI to USB-C adapter to make this thing work. I got one on Amazon that works, but the audio doesn't come through with these, so I would definitely recommend buying the original adapter from Unreal to be sure everything works as it's supposed to. At night, I love using these to watch some YouTube in bed. Patty generally goes to sleep well before I do, and this way I can enjoy some videos without disturbing her. Now, you're probably wondering, isn't this bad for your eyes? Well, not really, no. These glasses have the TUV or TUF eye care certification for AR glasses. They maintain a very high color performance and they reduce the potential impact of blue light. Just for your information, TUV is the German standards body and you know the Germans don't mess around when it comes to quality control. Perhaps most important to a lot of people, including myself, is that these glasses also receive the TUV flicker free certification. For me personally, that's a big deal because I've gotten a bit nauseous in the past when I tried AR or VR glasses but I've worn these for two hours straight without any problems. So guys, long story short, I would definitely recommend these glasses. I hope I was able to convey the experience a little bit despite the challenges of filming it. But to get the real experience, I would encourage you to go and try these glasses out. Trust me, you will not be disappointed. For pricing and availability, please check the link in the description. That's right below the like and the subscribe button. Just saying. Guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.